All right, well, let's get started. We'll start with Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, what's up, Nicole? Yeah, good, it's good. Um, the coaches have talked a lot about your off-season work. I'm just wondering what was the concentration of that work? What, what specifically were you trying to work on? Uh, uh, fundamentals, different, um, like different releases, um, getting better at the line with my hands, um, top of route, you know, um, I can, I know I can go deep. I know I can run a deep ball very well, you know, but it's more trying to become a more complete receiver and the, the intermediate routes, the short game and try to improve on that area. Let's go to Steve Walls. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good. I'm good. How you doing? Good. Uh, entering your second year into the league, man, where do you feel like you have improved the most? And also how important has Tyreek been in motivating and pushing you? Uh, to be a better player. Yeah, I think more so uh, just my confidence. I think I'm more confident in, in the system and, and what Coach Reed got in place. And um, I think I, I, I'm improved more being a more overall receiver instead of just like, you know, a, a deep threat. So I think I can run the, the intermediate routes now well and um, just keep it um, improving on that. And um, like you said, having Tyreek in, in my corner and um, having him watch him work and what he's been doing over the last four years, man, uh, it's, it's a great motivation uh, motivator. So I can, you know, get it to the level that he at. And um, I, you know, I strive every day to, you know, try to be um as good as him let's go to darren smith go ahead darren hey michael how you doing okay. um my, my, my question for you as a rookie now coming into a second year player you've obviously achieved the mountaintop by winning the super bowl how does one stay motivated from a from an individual aspect when obviously it's a team game being a football but how do you better yourself and how do you try to put yourself in the team in a in a situation to repeat when you've already come into the league winning the super bowl uh i just feel like um once you win one, you want you want another one. You know, I feel like um, that's kind of like the motivator. You know, you can't get complacent in, in what you did the last year because obviously nobody's not talking about last year no more. It's over. It's a whole new season. Um, so I think it's just more so, you know, the guys that's around you, the guys that, you know, that that been here for a long time, one that got one just like me. I think the, how they motivate us throughout practice and, you know, having that target on our back is just is, is a motivator to us, like, you know, to show, show everybody it wasn't a fluke, you know, that we can do it again, we can go back to back. And, um, but yeah, it's kind of like, it definitely, um, that's probably like the hardest thing is like trying to stay, you know, humble and, and keep that, keep the motivation going because you can't get complacent, especially if you want win one, you know, and, um, but I think the whole team motivated. I think Coach Reed doing a great job in keeping us motivated and um, knowing what's at stake and knowing that we can, you know, go get this thing again. Let's go to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Nicole, uh, we are like one year since that joke thing came out where Pat had, had told you to keep running and, and you've grown so much since then. And I'm just wondering now the year later, looking back to that, uh, in your own words, how much has your, your chemistry grown with Patrick Mahomes? Uh, it's growing. It's continuing to grow. Um, you know, my job is, you know, just to play my role, do my role and, and do that well. And um, I think we uh, will continue to gain trust. And, and um, well, it's my job to gain trust from Pat, you know. Um, we got a lot of weapons on the field. So the more he can trust me and um, the more offense can be. So um, more potent it can be. So I'm just trying to just do my job, man, and catch every ball, come out with, take advantage of every opportunity and um, and keep running, you know. Let's go to Seren Petra. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, McCall, I'm curious, you, you talked about some of the things you worked on, um, and, and we've talked to a number of the rookies. Like, looking back on it now, what do you know now that you wish you knew then? Like, what, what, what is it, or, or what work are you able to get done now that maybe in getting ready for the draft, spending so much time in the offseason for the draft that you were able to go back and get done now that you couldn't do last year, just year two versus year one? Actually, get like in football shape. I think uh, when you coming out for college, you you focus on like the forty, and you know just routes. You really not in in that football shape. And I think when you get to like the Ricky Mini Camp or like the OTAs, you kind of realize like I'm really not in shape. I thought I was in shape, but I'm not. So this offseason, you can really focus on more of like realistic situations and and you know running more routes, you know, and um doing things that gonna translate to the practice when you get there. So it can keep, it help you, you know, keep your lungs open, keep running a little bit more, you know, running some half gashers or whatever that may be. So I think um learning from that and learning to actually get in football shape definitely um is a is a big helper coming into the like this year. Uh let's go. We got two more. Let's go Nate Taylor and then Herbie. Go ahead, Nate. Hey Nicole, I'm interested on Going from not only just year one to year two, but just seeing Andy's playbook and understanding it, now seeing some of the new stuff that you guys are doing in camp so far, just what is that experience like uh, to understand you're playing all three, you know, wide receiver positions, but there's new plays that you guys are sort of building off of what you saw last year? 
Uh, you know, it's pretty much, you know, it, it's easier because once you've been through that year with the playbook and knowing the players and being familiar with the players, especially at all three positions, then the, when the new players come in, it's like more of like, okay, I kind of got a grasp of this concept. So it's not as hard to, to learn it. So uh, I think the, what we got in, the players that's, that's coming in, I think it's like familiar. It's new, but it's it's familiar. And um, it's kind of a little more easier to, you know, like um to, to learn it. So now it's like, okay, I know what you want out of this route because I've seen this route, but I know exactly what you're looking for. And, and that's how we go through it. That's how we approach it. And then when the new players come in, we're just attacking it like it's an old play. And then, you know, try to put it on film and see what we need to do from it. Uh, let's finish up with Herbie. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, McCall. Hey, we all obviously know what Patrick Mahomes can do with a football. But I'm, I'm curious because we saw that sidearm throw today to, uh, to Demarcus Robinson. With, with, it looked like there was no window. But as a wide receiver, do you ever find yourself just watching that and, and being a fan of some of those throws? <laughs> uh I think I think sometimes you could be like, yeah, man, he just he make it look so easy, you know. But I think we see it so much, we see it every day, it's just kind of normal to us. And um, but you know, you, you don't really want to be like a fan of it because it might come your way and you be like, oh man, he threw a pass like this and you drop it, you know, and you might not get a pass again. So like uh I don't, I don't think uh we we try to be wild. We probably be more of like a hey, good throw and, and just going by business because we're expecting to make throws like that. The you know the side arm, the no looks, the deep balls down the field. Like we we expect them to do that. We see it every day. So to us, to receivers, and that's new. It just it's just for us to go catch the ball and make something happen with it. McCole, we appreciate you. Thank you for the time today. Okay. Appreciate you.